Life. Good morning, Kev. Good morning. Yes, we're outside our studios. The sun is gradually starting to come up, and that means more people are going to be coming out to support Relay for Life. They're shooting hoops, and you can see already the action uh, right outside our studios, 22nd and L Streets. Just got word that St. Francis, the basketball team, will be out here shortly to support the great cause. We'll show you them coming up in just a little bit. And, and the other cool thing is there's a lot of great sponsors really helping this effort out, including uh, the Comprehensive Blood and Cancer Center. If you come out, donate $5 to shoot some hoops, you're going to be putting a raffle, and right around 6.15 tonight, you are going to have the chance to win this right here, a Sony uh, TV, 40-inch, $800 value. It's going to go home with somebody coming up tonight. All you got to do is come out, donate $5, shoot some hoops. You don't even have to be good, and you'll be put into a drawing for that and some other prizes. And plus, when you shoot, we give you a McDonald's coupon. So uh, we got a lot of great things happening here today, including a barbecue starting at 11 o'clock. Weather-wise, things starting out pretty uh, good. Come, out, uh, come into about uh, late Friday into Saturday and Sunday. But overall, we'll maybe pick up 200 seven inch with this storm that's going to roll through uh, later on today. So overall, going to be a great day to come out and support Relay for Life. We're trying to raise $2 million, and with your help out here today, we can make sure that happens here in Kern County. For now, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio, but we've got a lot more coming from Compassionate Corner in just a little bit. All right, yeah, thank you very much, Kevin. Got some showers probably in the pattern here today, mm -hmm. as he was just mentioning. Temperatures in the 50s. It's going to be relatively cold, but not a lot of rain coming with the system. So Yeah, and then we have a break for Thursday, I think, and then Another round for the weekend. Yeah, so get ready. <laughs> it's coming back. It's like but a not for guest. And it shouldn't be too bad mm -hmm. for today for our fundraisers, so come on out. Yeah, it's expected for spring as well. You're going to get some rain here and there, so uh, we'll just be able to bear through it here. Uh, so far this morning, there was All a... All right, back talking about the uh, Shoot for Two event that's happening right outside our studios. It's actually a fundraiser, and it's going to raise a lot of money, hopefully, for cancer research. I know people mm -hmm. just give so compassionately to Relay for Life here in town. That's why it's called Shoot for Two, because we want to shoot for raising $2 million at this year's Relay for life and we can do it right Captain? yeah you're exactly right i think the community coming out today along with all the other groups around the community really coming together for Re relay for life the goal is to raise two million dollars this year we can make it happen we're outside our studios 22nd and l streets and you can see already the activity is starting to pick up we have st francis the kids from the basketball team here shooting it up these guys can play basketball i am not even going to try to shoot against these guys they can play and uh, we've got a lot of great uh, community members out here really supporting this cause. Uh, even uh, little uh, Robin Mangren's son here coming up to the line right now. Let's see. Let's see if we can embarrass him a little bit. Go ahead. Come on. All right, there's Jack making a shot. Oh, and he makes it. He sinks it. So uh, we've got them out here. We have uh, also the Comprehensive Blood and Cancer Center out here. We're going to talk to them in just a second. But let's also talk weather because we are looking at some clouds. We're trying to shoot for $2 million. And there is one group that knows more about cancer than any other, and that is the Comprehensive Blood and Cancer Center. And this is the group right here that really helps a lot of people in our community. And with me right now, I've got Git Patel. Git, talk a little bit about what you guys are doing with this great cause right outside our studio. As you can see, CBCC is all about our passion and hope for our patients. And we are always there for our patients and our hope is to raise $2 million for American Cancer Society and bring a cure right here in Bakersfield for our patients that we always need and we are always fighting for that cure. Talk a little bit about what you see. You help treat cancer for patients. What do you see on a day-to-day -day basis and why is this so important? I would like Linda to answer that question. All right, we're going to come over to Linda. Linda, I take it you're a nurse. I'm an x-ray tech. I run the breast center there. Talk a little bit about what you see on a day-to-day -day basis. I see a lot of patients struggling and fighting and um, wanting to get better and that's what we're here for. So we're here to help them and that's what Relay for Life is all about is to raise money for their cure. And what would two million dollars do to, to go towards fighting this cure? Oh it would it would definitely help and that's what we're here for is to shoot two and I haven't, but I tried. <laughs> hey, that's all that matters. You tried. You guys are all going to try too, right? Yes. All right. And we hope that you'll come out and try. And when you do, uh, the CBCC has donated this fine TV right here. And when you come out and you shoot a basket, it doesn't matter if you make it. $5 donation, you get a shot, you'll get a, a raffle ticket. It'll go in at around 6 o'clock tonight. We're going to draw for this 40 inch TV donated by the CBCC. So you will have a chance to win it. A lot of great people uh, involved in this. Including, look at these guys getting up at 5:30, 6 o'clock in the morning to shoot the hoops right behind me. And I'll tell you, 
you. They have been doing a great job out here, and hopefully you'll come out and kind of show them if you got the skills as well. But even if you don't have the skills, uh, you can still come out and uh, give it your best shot. Uh, Reed, come right over here, and let's get a shot of these guys again. Uh, for kids this age, you know, to get up at 5.30 and come out here right. and raise money for uh, cancer mm -hmm. research, it's pretty amazing. So we're hoping that as you come on into work, maybe you leave a little bit early and uh, also come out. Five bucks gives you a shot. Even if you don't make it, we'll let you go right up to the basket to make <laughs> the shot. So come out and show these guys what it's all about. Kiyoshi, I don't know. I can't compete with this. I know. We may have to have them shoot for us, Kevin. That might just be yeah, I think so. a sub, you know. Like I'll donate picture. the five dollars and I'll let them shoot for me. Yeah, they're looking good. Sounds like a good yeah. They are. Yeah, and if we can match their efforts, if these kids can get up early, uh, you know, we if you can, can, yeah, we can do it too. So uh, we'll be out there in just a couple seconds, Kevin and I, hopefully, seeing if we can sink some baskets. Yes, you guys are going to have a little little shootout or whatever you yeah, call it. We'll yeah, we'll see. We'll see who can make the most baskets. We'll see. Or maybe you can play a game of horse. Remember yesterday, Michael Jordan lost oh, yes. to his, uh, yes. the franchise team that uh, he is now managing. So Yeah, he's very honest in saying, I miss more than I get. I mean, that's basketball. That's the way it is. Mm -hmm. But you keep you keep throwing. you got to keep shooting. Yep. you got to keep swinging. Same that's thing. That's the point. If you don't swing, you don't hit. All right, 618, let's check out. Bakersfield's Relay for Life is still two months away. Right now, we are number one in the nation for fundraising. But this year's goal is to be number one in the the world and we got a big boost today from folks who stopped by our studios to shoot for two. It was a day of basketball and burgers to benefit the American Cancer Society. Well before the sun came up, free throw fanatics came out to take shots at raising money for this year's Bakersfield Relay for Life. For just $5, you could play ball or enjoy a tasty burger from Team Halliburton. Uh, we have one of our employees that uh, was stricken with cancer a couple of years ago, and we, that's when we got involved for Relay, uh, with Relay for Life. And so we do it to support her and the whole uh, Relay. About 800 burgers were sold at lunchtime, bringing in a profit of more than $3,500. But for many, it was about more than just good food and fun times. Well, I went here because I just wanted to play some basketball and help people get better with cancer so they can learn how to cure it. My grandpa died of cancer, so um, I'm really supportive of the Relay for Life, and I like giving money to that fund. 17's Lou Lawson even got in on the action. There it is. Those who paid to play were entered into a drawing for a big screen TV donated by the CBCC. So who's the winner of the television? Sandy Gunder. Oh, Sandy oh, Gunder? Oh, who's that? <laughs> you, you, did you win? Oh my gosh! I won a 42-inch uh, plasma TV, which is wonderful because mine just broke. We looks like we raised about seven thousand dollars in total with Team Halliburton and the teams here for the uh, shoot for two, and we just could not be more pleased. Thank you, Bakersfield, so much. We just it was just fabulous. It was wonderful. Definitely a big thank you. And this year's Relay for Life takes place May first and second out at Cal State Bakersfield. The fundraising goal: two million dollars. The state of California recently cut funding to programs offering free mammograms to uninsured women. Robin is here now with a local program that has offered to fill the gap to keep those women and young women healthy. Robin? Jim, the Comprehensive Blood and Cancer Center knows early detection is key to successfully fighting cancer. So rather than wait on state funding, doctors at CBCC decided to do something about it. At age 35, Brenda Rodriguez is a survivor. She was diagnosed with breast cancer just nine months ago. I felt a lump, but when I went to the doctor, I had made an appointment, and it was really small, so they said it was really nothing to worry about. So I let it go like that. So I went for a few years, probably six, seven years like that, until it got bigger. The lump never hurt, but when it became bothersome, she went back to her doctor. I didn't have insurance. Mm -hmm. And I was told I was too young to do a mammal. Rodriguez tried to take advantage of a state-funded program for the underinsured or uninsured called Every Woman Counts. Well, this program is funded by the state and is funded also by tobacco taxes. Mm -hmm. But the tobacco taxes started going down and the state funding started going down. So what they essentially did is seize the program until the middle of this year for any new enrollees. She got in just in time. Doctors found not one, but three tumors and removed 22 lymph nodes, 10 of which tested positive for cancer. I was actually scared 
and surprised at the same time because I have girls of my own mm -hmm. and I didn't know if it was genetic or how I got them, I didn't know. Roughly 40,000 women in Kern County are underinsured and not eligible for the program any longer. They are unable to get mammograms, leaving many women in this category with a diagnosis of cancer, like Rodriguez, that is much more advanced because the early detection is unavailable to them. So we thought that if they don't get this funding, it's just going to be a worse situation. So we felt that, you know, we would cover the people who don't have, who are not covered by the state to get the mammograms and help them out. Our the breast is here. The Comprehensive Blood and Cancer Center will offer free mammograms to those women who present the need beginning this Saturday. A chance to diagnose cancer early and give patients a better chance to beat it. Now, if you know someone in need or would like to make an appointment, all you need to do is contact the CBCC at 862 7132 and we'll correct that number for you or if you'd like to see this story again just log on to our website at kget.com by the way if you're wondering how long CBCC will offer those free mammograms to underinsured women Dr. Patel says indefinitely or until the state reinstates the benefits to those in need Jim. dozens of women and plans to do so again in the coming weeks more details after the break and if you're a woman with little or no health insurance, you can get a free mammogram courtesy of the Comprehensive Blood and Cancer Center. Today, they screened 15 women for breast cancer. And because there are tens of thousands of women in Kern County who can't get preventive health care, they are offering more free screenings in the upcoming weeks. Dr. Robbie Patel says it's their way of giving back to the community. The key thing is that breast cancer, the outcomes are the best when it's picked up earliest. So if you get the cancer early, uh, the chances of a cure and a better survival increases tremendously. And that's the purpose why we want to do the free mammograms. Uh, examining them. And if you are interested in making an appointment for a free breast cancer screening, you can call the CBCC Breast Cancer Center at 616 -1. And welcome back this morning. Dr. Ravi Patel is here from the Comprehensive Blood and Cancer Center. And he's joining us, as he does here and there, to talk about some answers to some common questions about cancer. So good to see you this morning. Welcome. Same yet. Thank you. In this first quote, we have three questions to talk about this morning. And the first one, I really don't want to know the answer to because <laughs> soft drinks, it's soft so drinks, hard yes. to say no. And the first question this morning, is there a cancer risk in drinking soft drinks such as Coke and Pepsi? You say new research came out about three weeks ago. Yeah, about uh, three weeks ago, uh, a journal called the American Association of Cancer Research published a University of Minnesota study, uh, which was uh, conducted in the Middle East, uh, actually in uh, Asia, uh, just to see whether, uh, you know, affluent individuals down there drinking soda have a higher risk of cancer. And uh, it does show that there is an increased risk of pancreatic cancer if you drink more than two soft drinks a week. More than so, two a week. Two, more than and, two a week. So and some you people can drink see. one a day or one more a day, than that. Yes. So I think that, you know, of course this has to be analyzed. More studies have to come out. But it's judicious just not to go on doing it. And why, why could this happen? Well, uh, you know, the carbonated high sugar drinks have uh, a high glycemic index. And it stimulates insulin production in your body. And that can stimulate cancer cell production in the pancreas. What about the diet sodas? Because there's not much sugar in the diet sodas. Not, uh, not a lot of studies done on that. But you know, carbonated drinks produce also esophageal cancer because of reflux. So you have to just uh, use it very judiciously. And you know, uh, juices don't produce it though, by the way. So that juice and water. Juice and water is still good. Yeah, oh, not good news though. Um, and the second question we have for you this morning, are there any options other than surgery for lung cancer in older patients? Yeah, in older patients, you know, one of the things which does happen is that people think that, you know, since they're old, they cannot undergo a lot of treatment, mm -hmm. which is true, but there's a lot of other good options available nowadays. There are treatment programs which are minimally damaging to the patient, pills, uh, specialized radiation therapy, such as uh, what is called SBRT, stereotactic body radiation, which is targeted radiation or the cyber knife which the patients get equally good results, almost like surgery in certain early stage cancers who cannot be operated on. And the third question we have for you this morning is, do herbal supplements help reduce the side effects of chemotherapy? We've talked a lot in this morning broadcast about herbal supplements and the benefits. Well, I think there's a long and short answer to that. There's a lot of them available. 
Uh, but you have to be very careful while on chemotherapy because they can affect how the chemotherapy works. Okay. So you should discuss it. Now, you know, like for example, a simple one is ginger tea during uh, chemo. Uh, minimizes nausea, you know. Uh, that may be safe, things like that, but other herbal supplements definitely can affect the way chemotherapy drugs work. So discuss it with your physician. Which, which supplements are, are some big ones that stand out to you, Dr. Patel, if some are watching this morning, that you would say definitely stay away from? St. John's Wort is a good example. Definitely affects, a lot of people take it. Uh, sometimes... That one's treated, that one's sometimes treated for depression? Depression, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, many chemotherapy patients will take it over yeah. the counter, and it affects chemotherapy drugs. Yeah, that's one to watch out for, and, and some may be interested in using because of what they're going through. Yes, they may be able to antioxidants, help another one. Okay. Good information this morning. As always, you have great information for us. Thanks so much, Dr. Patel, for joining Thank us. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll be right back after this.